Hello everyone, welcome to Technology Begins. In this video, we will see Assignment 4 in Introduction to Programming in C NPTEL course. So let's see each and every question of Assignment 4 one by one. So this is Question 1, Assignment 4. In this uh, question, we need to find out. So here is our definition given two arrays of integer output the largest number in the first array not present in the second one so meaning of that we need to find out largest number of first array which not present in the second one so for example here you can see here is the input of first array is 234 and after that we have taken another array is 1457 so in the first array maximum number is 4 but that 4 is present in second number so we don't need to consider that but we need to consider after that uh, maximum number is 3 but that 3 is not present in the second array so we need to consider that 3 okay so that will be our output let's see the program here is our main function and we have taken the array okay array of size 20 20 and after that we have declared our large variable by default its value is 0 and then after we have taken two array l1 uh, and l2 and another variable i so we have taken our for loop so we can get each and every input of our array for the first array and after that we are getting the second array input character or integer one by one okay so this is integer array so we will get each and every integer one by one by using this for loop and after that we have uh, put another for loop this for loop what this for loop will do so this for loop will run until our first array length okay after that we are taking the one flag and which value is zero and if large value is less than of a of i a of i means this a is our first array and i means index and we need to check if our large number is less than a of i okay so our zero is less than if this is the array two three four then our first integer value will be two and our large value is zero so zero less than two so that means we will go into our condition and we will run another for loop which will run until the length of the second array and in the second array we will check if that number is matched or not like this if this 4 and 4 this will be matched then we will put flag is equal to 1 and after that we will check if flag is equal to 0 then we are putting that large is equal to a of i if that is flag will be 1 then we will not assign that value to our large number okay so this condition is saying that if we are matching 4 and 4 then we don't need to uh, take this variable as a output or we need to put it into our large variable and if we are taking 3 and which is large so we are taking as a and store into the large variable and after that we will print that large variable okay so this for loop is basically for that let's compile and run and submit it So all test cases are passed for compile and run and submit. So our program is submitted successfully. Let's see the question number 2.
in question number two we need to find out distinct number in the sequence so let's see our sample input for this if there is a one two three one then how many distinct number are in this sequence so there are three distinct numbers okay one two three we have take four number as a input but there are three number is a distinct so we need to output as a three so we have taken our array according to the uh, condition at most 100 so we can take any input uh, any uh, array of space okay at most thousand okay and after that we have declared the required variables then after we are taking the sequence from the user and so we have to take four input in our sequence so we will get from this scanf and this for loop will take each and every character of our or integer of our sequence after that there will be a two for loop and first for loop will run until length of our sequence and second for loop will run until the sequence integer value okay that is till the i okay if a of i equal equal to a of j that means if you are taking a sequence 1 2 3 1 and if you are getting 1 and 1 then it will be break this for loop inner for loop and we will check if i equal equal to j then our response variable will be incremented by 1 so what this means is if i equal equal to j that means we are getting the distinct number and if we are uh, getting the same number then we need to stop the inner for loop okay and we need to print out our response at the last after that we need to do compile and run So these test cases are passed and these all private test cases are also passed so our programming is submitted successfully let's see the question number three So in this question number three uh, we need to replace the string with given character with another string okay so what is the meaning of that so in the test case we will try to see so here is our input string a b c x y inside of that we have a b and this another input is b which we need to replace with this third input which is mf so our output will be like this a m f c x y okay so we have replaced b with mf so we have to take three input and we need to perform according to our requirement so let's see our main function first so we have taken our string array and taken the required variables so first input is our string second input is our character which needs to be replaced and third input is another string which will be replace our character in our main string okay so this is our main string this is our character which needs to be replaced with this string after that we are doing the for loop which will give us the each and every character from the string and we will check if this character is present if this uh, character is matching uh, with the input character 
okay if that character is matching with input character then we will replace it with our third input string into our main string so this is the replace function which is written over here and this will replace our character into the main string with our third input okay and after that you will get your output with the replaced string so this is basically a program so we can get our desired output so let's compile and run so all test cases are passed and if we are doing submit then also all test cases are passed so our program is completed and our all the assignment questions are also completed thank you